us do another episode on ASCG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2021 GCE Science Paper 1. So now we are looking at section C where you are expected to answer two questions out of uh, three questions and each question carries 10 marks. Let us look at question C1. Figure C1.1 shows a conveyor belt driven by an electric motor carrying suitcases into a trailer of a truck. Question M. Give two differences between mass and weight. And that's C to max. So let us answer A. So the first difference is the fact that uh, basically mass measures the amount of matter contained in an object while weight measures the force acting on an object. That's the difference. One measures amount of a matter contained in an object. The other one is the force acting on an object. Then number two is mass is a scalar quantity uh, meaning it only as the size without the direction while weight is a vector quantity so it's a vector quantity that's it are the two differences so these are the key differences that you need to give basically this question is a standard question they'll ask you for two differences or one so if they ask you for three what you would uh, had is the fact that um, mass does not depend on the place the amount of matter contained in an object remains the same whether you are on the moon or you are on earth whether you are in the vacuum will remain the same but weight depends on the place so if you go in the vacuum because there is no gravitational field then uh, the weight will be zero or mass will still be there that's one thing that you also need to know so those are the key important differences that you need to know then you go to B Roman numeral 1 if a suitcase of mass 20 kg is lifted from the ground to the truck taking g gravity to be 10 newton per kg calculate so calculate the weight of the suitcase so the weight is equal to mass times a uh, gravity so mass is 20 kg remember mass should always be in kg multiplied by a uh, 10 newton per kg and what you notice here is this kg and this kg cancels then we remain if 20 times 10 we remain if 200 newtons this is uh, basically the weight so that's uh, for uh, B Loma numero 1 we go to a B Loma numero 2 calculate the gravitational potential energy of the suitcase at the top of the conveyor as it enters the truck that's what we need to uh, calculate so we need to find uh, this at this point so at this point we need the, that's what we are finding so a uh, loma numero 2 gravitational potential energy is given by mass times gravity times height the vertical height which is in this case uh, 60 meter 
So mass is 20 kg multiplied by 10 newton per kg then multiply by uh, 6 meters then we are going to end up with uh, a 1200 joules as uh, basically the gravitational potential energy question C the suitcase takes 12 seconds to travel 9 meter along the conveyor belt calculate the power of the motor so C the power is given by work done over time so what we need to find is work done first we know time is given to us but we can find work done so work done is given by a force times a distance and this distance should be a distance moved in the direction of the force so what's the direction of the force so the direction of the force is along uh, this so as you see is is at the motor which is moving it so it's moving it in this uh, direction so as opposed to gravitational potential energy gravitational potential energy depends on the vertical height in this case you see this height which has been moved so you see this nine meter that will be given will be the distance then the force remains uh, equal to the weight here so the force acting on this uh, weight is the force that we calculated which was uh, this 200 newton remember the difference so work done is force multiplied by the distance moved in the direction of the force so now we are calculating the power of the motor so the motor is moving it in this direction not downward the one which is pulling it downward here is gravitational um, energy or gravitational field so in this case so that's why we are going to use now the distance which is 9 meters to find in work done so in this case what we have is 200 newton which is the force we calculated here multiplied by the distance moved which is 9 meters so we are going to end up with uh, basically uh, 1800 uh, joules as a work done by the motor then after we find that then we can proceed to see which is now uh, power is equal to a work done which is 1800 divided by time in second which is uh, 12 then we are going to end up with uh, 150 watts so this is uh, basically the work the power of the motor then we can go to a uh, D so D the electrical motor is powered by a uh, input voltage of 230 volts and current of 1.5 amps calculate electrical energy input to the motor in 12 seconds so electrical energy we shall call it ee is equal to a voltage multiplied by current multiplied by time so time is in seconds voltage is in watts current is in amps so voltage is 230 multiplied by current which is 1.5 then multiplied by time which is 12 seconds so when you multiply this uh, we are going to end up with uh, basically a uh, 4000 140 joules as in uh, the electrical energy input in this motor in 12 seconds so basically this is how you answer this question to get the 10 marks